Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday and sometimes I try to get one in during the week or on the weekends if I can. So this week's tutorial is geared more towards the beginners because this is a technique that's been around for quite some time, but I figured uh, it was something that I hadn't done yet. So I decided I wanted to do it and I had St. Patrick's Day on the brain when I was doing this. So this is a alcohol ink saran wrap tumbler. So it's a method used by many to create interesting designs on a cup with alcohol inks. So again, like I said, I, I did the green and the gold for St. Patrick's Day. I did not get a chance to finish this, guys, because I just ran out of time. So tell me what you think. Tell me if, you, if we should just leave it alone or if you think something else should go on this. I have some ideas, but uh, just like I said, not enough time. So make sure before we start this video to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share and comment. I love to hear your feedback and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I always start by sanding and spray painting my cup. And if you're not sure how to prep a cup and you want more detailed instructions, I do have a video on that. So I realized that I am using a different cup uh, to show you how I am applying the glitter using the Tacket method, using Aileen's Tacket over and over mixed with a squirt of water. It's because I deleted the video using the real cup, but since I've recently done a cup with Tacket, I figured I would show you how I apply this. So what you do with the Tacket is it goes on white and then dries clear and sticky, and that's how you know it's ready to apply glitter. It is a repositional glue, and it's meant to dry tacky. So the reason why I use this is because it's really great for flattening out glitter. So if you try to flatten glitter on a wet Mod Podge, it's not gonna work, it's gonna clump up. So you want something uh, wet and or dry and tacky to varnish your glitter down with. So I get the whole cup, I do a nice even coat, I make sure I get my bottom. Unless you wanna tape your bottom off, it's totally up to you. So here we are now with the right cup, guys. So I am taking my uh, Fresh Snow, which is an iridescent white glitter that's, when you varnish it down, it comes out to be a beautiful pearlescent. So I am just dumping it on the entire cup. I had let my tacket dry for about 10 or 15 minutes and I only used one coat. Some people do two, I only do one. So dry times vary also depending on your room temperature. So I get it all on there and then the next step is to varnish it down. So you can take your hand, either your plain hand or a gloved hand or a silicone brush, whatever you want to use. I always just use a plain hand and this way I can feel if there are spots that are rougher than others because once you varnish it down, it's gonna be nice and smooth. So I like to use my hand so that I can feel any rough spots and make sure that I get it all nice and varnished down. All right, here starts the fun stuff. So grab a nice big piece of cling wrap and make sure it's big enough to wrap around your cup and then some, I like to have extra. And straighten it out and Make sure you know it's going to be lengthwise, at least enough to cover the bottom of the cup. So you're gonna take your alcohol inks, and I've got gold and a couple of different greens. Make sure they're nice and shooken up. And then you're just gonna take these and you're gonna start just dabbing them all around the cling wrap. And so you wanna make sure that you cover enough area that's gonna cover the cup. So. You can, I didn't measure exactly, you can measure exactly, you know, the diameter of your cup and just make sure you're getting in there. I didn't because I um, am lazy. So, uh, so now I'm just gonna go around with the different color greens and I will link a picture above of the alcohol ink colors that I used. I went in with some lighter colors and some darker colors just to get a nice blend in with that gold because gold can take over and it can it cannot look good if you do too much of it. So I wanted definitely more green than gold for sure because that 
glitter that we put on there is going to have a gold hue to it as well so you don't need to really saturate it with a lot of gold so once i am happy with that I, there i go we're going to wrap it around that way pull back the blank spots and then wrap it the other way and i just want to make sure that the entire cup is covered so if there's you know a little bit of ink that you miss like so see i didn't i didn't measure because i was lazy and guess what happened it wasn't long enough so now i'm just putting some more on there it's okay guys it's not a big deal because this is out al alcohol ink and you know this is the kind of thing that you're going to do this kind of technique where it's going to be all kind of crazy and wonky anyway there's nothing really uh consistent about this so it's it's totally okay so you're just going to pat it all around you want to make sure that there are creases in there because that's what's going to give you your patterns and your lines so i didn't get enough to do the bottom so i'm you know and there were some spots that i wasn't happy with so i'm gonna tuck that cling wrap in the top and then I'm going to get some spots that I thought I missed and I'm going to kind of squish them in there and then I'm going to do the same with the bottom. I'm going to just put the alcohol ink on the bottom and mix it all around and once I'm done with that I'm going to just smush the cling wrap on it. Then I'm going to sit the cup upright and let it dry for 24 hours with that cling wrap wrapped around it. I will check it in the morning after about 10 hours or so to see what it looks like, but I'm not going to unravel it for about a good 24 hours. Some alcohol ink leaked onto my table, so I'm just going to clean this up with 91% alcohol. Nice and easy peasy. Guys, so this has been sitting overnight and it's probably been about 12 hours or so and you can see it's still pretty wet so I don't want to mess with it so I'm gonna leave it go and check on it again tonight to uh, to see what it looks like alright guys so it's been probably 16 hours since I poured this so how I test to see if it's ready is I just listen if you hear that it's pretty dry and ready to be peeled off. So make sure you wear a glove in case uh, there's some that is still wet and there's like wet residue on your saran wrap. Get this in focus. That's really cool, but guess what, guys? <clears throat> so, because alcohol lifts things, it lifted the glitter underneath. So there was tack it, and then I applied the glitter. So you know what? You should, here, learn from my mistakes. You should do your tack it over and over, put a coat of epoxy, and then do this. So, I think it looks neat though. So, I'm going to let this dry overnight and see what happens. Uh, I don't think that it's ruined, but it's definitely taken away from the effect. So, um, here's the bottom. So, again, you know... Um, I made mistakes and I still, this is like super cool though. I don't know guys, what do you think? All right, so let's let this dry more. I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then uh, I'm gonna come back to it and see see what it looks like and see if, it, if I can salvage it. All right guys, so it's been like 36 hours since I've been able to get to this cup and it is completely dry. And so the spots where I thought were going to be ruined, it's not. It dried and it attached itself to the cup and it's hardly even noticeable. Like it was bubbling before. So I think this cup is safe. So I'm, I won't do that again, but I didn't ruin the cup. So just know that, um, yeah, definitely epoxy after you do your glitter layer and then do your alcohol ink with your saran wrap. So you know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna put a coat of epoxy on this and I, you know, honestly, I don't know what else to do with this cup. Like I just really wanted to show you the saran wrap method and how interesting it could be. So I think maybe, 
you know, this is you know, definitely giving me a St. Patrick's vibe with the color. So maybe I'll put um, some, you know, St. Patrick's decal on it. But I'm going to put a coat of epoxy on this and then uh, maybe I'll decal and I'll be back soon. Oh, you know what I am going to do though, but I'm not going to do this on camera. I am going to clean up this room. This room is a hot mess. And so I'm going to use acetone, alcohol, and my craft knife to clean this up. And if you don't know how to clean a rim, I have a couple of videos on that, but I'm not going to show you for this one. All right, so I got my cup mounted on the turner and I am going to put on 20 mLs of epoxy. I am going to use a quick set and then I'm going to use a regular set. It's up to you what you want to use. You can use a quick set and a regular set. It depends on your time. So like a lot of times I epoxy based on time. So if I have time to put a second coat on uh, in a day, then I'm going to use my quick coat. If not, then I'm just going to use my regular coat and let it go overnight. So with this one, I used a quick set and then I used my final coat and uh, it was two final coats to finish this up. So just get a nice even coat, 20 mLs each time. Make sure you get your bottoms. Don't forget to torch for bubbles and I will be back for my final remarks. All right, so this cup is done and I really like the way this looks. I, I just love doing the saran wrap method. It just, it's so interesting and different every time, depending on the colors that you use. So I really do want to put something else on this. Uh, and like I said in my intro, go ahead and make a comment below. Do you think I should just leave it or do you think maybe I should put something else on it? I do want to hear your feedback. So, uh, you know, and let me know what you think of this technique if you're new. So this is it for this week's tutorial, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all next time. Bye.